Hello, my name's Chuck, and I'm the Desert Dude from Phoenix, Arizona, and I want to welcome you to another demonstration of one of my classic toys from the 60s. What you're about to view is a 1962 Gaylord the Basset Hound by the Ideal Toy Corporation. Ideal Toys made great toys back in the 60s, and I think they were very innovative in their engineering and they made very large toys and this one is no exception. So like I said, we have Gaylord the Basset Hound made by the Ideal Toy Corporation in 1962. Gaylord came with his magnetic bone, a leash, okay, and it has a little bulb on the end and actually Ideal made the claim back in the 60s that Gaylord barks when in fact he doesn't and basically the barking is accomplished by squeezing the bulb on the end of his leash and it sounds more like a clown's nose being pushed than an actual bark and let me demonstrate doesn't sound like a bark to me but in the 60s toy companies were well known for exaggerated claims on their toys we also have Gaylord's original box, and the box was fashioned to look like a doghouse. You look at the uh, top of the box, you'll see it has tiles, and I'm not sure if you can see it in this video. And that was to simulate the roof of a doghouse. And on the end panels, they showed a picture of Gaylord in that typical doghouse cutout. And it was quite common in the 60s for people to cut out the end flap to simulate a doghouse when they stored Gaylord and this one is no exception. At least they had the foresight not to cut it completely off and as you can see this pushes in and becomes his doghouse as you can see. However the flap is still there and like I said most of the time people just cut off the entire flap. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of how Gaylord operates and for purposes of this demonstration I'm going to remove the box. From the table, Gaylord will walk forward, he'll walk backwards, and you control him by his leash. He's a wonderful pet to have because number one he doesn't eat, he doesn't drink, he doesn't urinate, he doesn't hike his leg and leave surprises on your couch. Uh, one thing he does do, he scares the you-know-what out of my cat. When I operate Gaylord, the cat is nowhere to be seen for an hour or two. And she's already heard him once today, and she is long gone. So, to operate him, you pull up on a switch, and you can see he's walking backwards. Pull up again, he stops. Pull the switch again, and he walks forward. Oh my, he's barking. Pull again and he'll walk backwards. Now you can also set up a series of small steps with books and he will actually walk up those uh, steps. Gaylord also comes with his bone that has a piece of metal that attaches to two magnetic strips in the front of his nose. And you can see it doesn't fall off. Another nice thing about Gaylord here is that he is not missing his battery cover, which is quite common or they're broken. This one works well. It fits on there. And is secure. Battery box is clean. Another common trait with Gaylord's is where his tail inserts to his body, it's usually cracked back here, and this one does not have any cracks whatsoever. So, folks, that concludes our demonstration of Gaylord the Basset Hound, manufactured by the Ideal Toy Corporation back in 1962. Thanks for
for viewing my video.